Hi guys, you are welcome to OK Academy e-learning class, the first episode of our English language lesson for grade four. Today we are talking about this new topic altogether. Now, let's look at these actions. If I roll my hands like this, and then if I roll it like this, and I ask you to describe the two actions. What are you possibly going to say about them? We will possibly say the first one was slow. And the second one was fast. I believe you guessed right. So, the slow and the fast are telling us how the action, that is the rolling of the hands, was done. With this scenario, we are going to talk about adverbs. So somebody may ask, what at all is an adverb? All right. An adverb is any word it is a word that modifies, modifies or qualifies, modifies or qualifies a verb. or another adverb. So, adverbs are words, or an adverb is a word that modifies or qualifies a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. So, any word that qualifies or modifies. Now this modifying or qualifying, we can also say, it gives more information. It gives more, sorry, more information, more information about a verb an adjective, or another adverb. So, an adverb in, simplest, in the simplest form, or in the simplest meaning, gives more information about a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. I hope it's clear. Okay, so let's talk or let's give some examples as to how it gives information or more information. So, example, he walks slowly he walks slowly now what is the verb or the action in this sentence the action is walks the action is walks how is it done or how is the walking done slowly so slowly here is telling us more about the walking. We could have just said, he walks. We could have just said this, he walks, which is right. It makes enough sense. But adding slowly to it means we are describing how the walking 
was done. So that is what adverb does. It gives more information about a verb. So this slowly is giving more information about the verb. I believe you have understood it. Now we can move on to how to form adverbs. How to form adverbs. Now how do we know that this word is an adverb or any other thing? So how to form adverbs? OK, in our previous lessons about describing words, we learned about adjectives. And over there, we listed some examples of adjectives. So one way of forming an adjective or an adverb from an adjective is to add ly to an adjective, add ly to an adjective. For example, we can have adjectives like beautiful, beautiful, quick, nice, slow, we can also mention um, cheerful. We can also mention wonderful. And so on and so forth. We can go ahead and list about a thousand of them. So the rule says we should add ly to the adjective words. So in forming adverb out of adjectives, beautiful, we add ly, ly, then we get beautifully. Quick, we add ly, then we get quickly. Nice, we add ly, we get nicely. Slow, we add ly, we get slowly. Cheerful, we add ly, we get cheerfully. Wonderful, we add ly, then we get wonderfully, and so on and so forth. So this is one major way of adding or forming an adverb from an adjective. But as there is a saying, to every rule, there is an exception. Because of that, you should note that it is not every word that ends in ly that is an adverb. A typical example is friendly. Friendly. Friendly ends with ly or right, but it is not an adverb. So this is one major way of forming adverbs. And then we have some words too that do not end with ly, but then they are still adjectives. We can talk of fast. Fast is not ending in ly, but then it is an adjective. We can have a word like very. Very doesn't end with ly, it is rather ry, but it is an adjective. All right. So that is how to form adverbs. So we've talked about the definition of an adverb, what they do. We've also talked about how to form 
adverbs. That is examples of adverbs. Now we are moving on to the next step, which is the types of adverbs. Types of adverbs. Now, just as in school, we have grouped students into different classes, or we have grouped learners into different classes. This is what happens here. In adverbs, too, we have grouped all the various examples into different groups or different types. But in the end, they are all adverbs. So these types of adverbs, in the examples, some of them talk about how an action is done. Some of them also talk about where the action was done. Some also talk about when, the time that an action took place, or the period the action took place. Some of them also talk about the extent to which the action took place, or the extent to which the adjective is. So quickly, we move on to the types. The first type, that is adverb of manner. Adverb of manner. Now, when we talk about adverb of manner, adverb of manner describes how an action was done. For example, if I wave my hand like that, I am waving. And if I wave it like that, I'm also waving. But how was the first one done? Slowly. How was the second one done? Faster. So, adverb of manner describes how the action was done. An adverb of manner answers the question, how? So let's take some examples how the action was done. So example one. Example one. He walks slowly. He walks slowly. How is the action done? And even before that, what is the verb in this sentence? The verb is walks. So walks here is the action in this sentence. So how is the walking done? That is the question. How is the walking done? Slowly. So slowly here is an adverb of manner. Example two. They welcomed us. They welcomed us cheerfully. They welcomed us cheerfully. The action here is the welcoming. How was it done? How did they welcome us? Cheerfully. So cheerfully is an adverb of manner. I believe you've understood the adverb of manner. So let's move on to the second type of adverb, and that is adverb of place. Adverb of place. And when we talk about adverb of place, this one also describes or gives information about where an action took place. Right now, I'm in this studio. T 
teaching. So the teaching is taking place in this studio. So if we are to describe the teaching, where the teaching is going on, inside the studio. Inside the studio. So adverb of place describes where an action took place. So adverb of place also answers the question, where? 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 Let's talk about some examples, or let's give some examples here. So example one, we say, he puts the books there. He puts the books there. Now the action here is the putting of the books. Now where were they put? Where were the books put? There. So there here becomes an adverb of place. Adverb of place. Example two, I parked the car, I parked the car here, I parked the car here. The action here is the parking, and where was it done? Here. So here becomes an adverb of place. Here is an adverb of place. So in giving more examples of adverb of place, we can talk about inside. We can have inside, outside, under, there, here, over there, and so on and so forth. Etc. Etc. So that is adverb of place. Now, the last but not the least for this episode, we can also talk about adverb of time. That is point number three. I believe I can clean this. Adverb of time. Now, in adverb of time, it also talks about or describes or gives more information about the period in which the action took place. The period in which, in which the action took took place. So adverb of time also answers the question, when? When? Adverb of time answers the question, when? All right. So in giving an example here, example one, he arrived Yesterday, he arrived yesterday. He arrived yesterday. Now, the action here is the arriving. When was it done? Yesterday. So yesterday here is an adverb of time, telling us the period the arrival took place. I hope you've gotten it. Now we can give another example. We shall 
now visit. We shall visit him tomorrow. We shall visit him tomorrow. The action here is the visiting. And when is the visiting taking place? Tomorrow. So tomorrow here is an adverb of time. When the action is taking place. So adverb of time talks about when an action took place. We can list a whole lot of examples. So as you are home, I will entreat you to keep practicing these three types of adverbs. You've already treated adverb of manner, adverb of place, and adverb of time. So at this point, I will end this first episode here. And we shall meet again in our next episode. I'm Uncle Gideon, the English language facilitator. Thank you for watching. Stay home, stay safe, spread calm, and not fear. This too shall pass. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you.